Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Shape Generator inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now the Shape Generator can help you guys out in a couple ways. Right? So one of the ways is it can probably point you in a different direction when it comes to modeling your design. Again, you would start off with your base model, run Shape Generator, and then see what kind of shape the software is recommending for you. Another way is maybe it can help you cut down weight, right? Reduce some of the mass of the part that we have here, whether it be for shipping costs or maybe just to have a lighter part altogether. Right, so that's what we're going to be doing today is trying to reduce the weight of our body by roughly, let's say, 15 to 20%. So let's go ahead and run Shape Generator. Now, we got a new ribbon here. The commands are going to be pretty straightforward, right? It would be pretty similar as if we were running any kind of other simulation analysis, right? We will start off by assigning the material, applying our fixed constraints, adding our loads, preserving regions, adding symmetry planes if our model is symmetric, shape generator settings, right? So what are you trying to do exactly with this model? Generating the mesh, and then finally run the shape generator. Starting off with our fixed settings, right? Adding our constraints. Now we're gonna assume that this part is going to be loaded at a specific point in time, right? So let's go ahead and fix this base. So now that's constrained. Let's go ahead and add our loads now. We can go ahead and select these bolt faces. So we're gonna assume that someone is hanging from the extension here, right? So there's a, another extension here that's bolted uh, and then there's gonna be a 250 pound force on that specific bolt hole, right? So select our direction. So now we have a constraint added, we have a load added to it as well. Now let's go ahead and preserve the region. Starting off with the face here, let's go ahead and make sure that it doesn't look at this face. Now one of the reasons why we're doing that is because we don't want it to make any changes to that specific face of the part, right? So we want to go ahead and preserve that. And this is just simply dragging the arrows and getting a bounding box close to where we want to preserve. Next, we want to preserve this space right here, right? We're gonna assume that there's gonna be some sort of a bearing on it, so again, we don't wanna change that or have any recommendations to changing this specific area. Once we have the regions preserved, let's go ahead and add a symmetry plane. So our part is symmetric about the YZ plane. Notice that it gives you a salmon color plane, kind of indicating to you which plane is going to be the symmetry plane. Let's go ahead and turn that YZ plane and turn that XY plane off. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the shape generator settings, right? So here we have a couple options, right? So are you trying to reduce the mass by a percentage or are you trying to get to a target mass? In my case, I wanna go ahead and reduce by let's say 20%, right? Tells you what that target mass is gonna be. Mesh resolution, I can leave it at the middle. That's gonna be fine for me and hit OK. Generate the mesh, and then finally run Shape Generator. Right, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a STL file that you can then base off of your original model and make those cutouts if needed. Uh, this doesn't change your model at all, like I said. It's just gonna give you a recommendation as to where you can make those cutouts. Right, so here's the model that it recommended. Notice that it's saying that we can make cutouts along the center beam. So what you would do here is promote the shape, go back into the model environment, use that as your guide to create your cutouts, and run a separate simulation, a static stress simulation in this case, to make sure that it does meet our safety requirements. So that's been how to work with the shape generator inside of Autodesk Inventor. Hope that helped. 